Today uh, we'll be discussing how to install uh, a Redshift uh, in uh, FASA Pub64. Uh, this uh, uh, I'm running a, uh, a recent version of FASA Pub64. Uh, it's called CE-4. So, but basically, what you want to do is uh, is uh, go ahead and uh, download the uh, app, the uh, small application, and this is under um, Puppet Linux discussion forum uh, under advanced topics, additional self software, and desktop. And I'll give a, um, a, a web address for this uh, page. So, and what you want to do is uh, uh, download this file for most of us uh, for 64 bit um, Puppet Linux. So, once you download it, then uh, what you'll have it is this here and what you need to do is extract it so you can go ahead and go right click and then um, and and then I can uh, go ahead and just you uh, extract is fine and it's on downloads and then uh, we'll go ahead and OK and then it's, uh, it's downloaded so it, it's here so we can go ahead and click in that folder and this is the actual uh, a file that's executable so what uh, first thing what we want to do is go ahead and uh, rather than leaving this uh, in a um, a download folder is probably should be moved so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, uh, let's see if we can uh, go ahead and uh, move present directory r shift so this uh, we're we're um, right here and then what we want to do is go ahead and usr bin and we'll put it in that folder so we're I think that what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go ahead and uh, CD into USR and bin. And then once you're in USR uh, bin, what you want to do is go ahead and uh, just uh, verify there is our shift. So we'll go ahead and do that and then a red shift and see what uh, shows up. And there's uh, our shift portable 64. Now, um, what we need to do is have this uh, small applet uh, applet uh, start every time you boot. So uh, the command to uh, sh what we want to do is go ahead and give it a, a command of uh, making a uh, a link. So L N S and uh, pres uh, the uh, the file itself is uh, R shift and then we want to root directory and startup folder and we want to put it in there as a link so at this time what we want to do is uh, I've already put one in there so we'll go ahead and uh, uh, just uh, verify that but that's basically the uh, command you need to run and then we can just take a look at the uh, uh, start folder startup folder so here is the the symbolic link to the uh, 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 the file in uh, USR bin. So that's all set up. So just to get it uh, initially, what you need to do is just go ahead and click on that uh, uh, symbolic link, and you'll get uh, you'll get a little. Uh, a redshift icon here and you can go ahead and right click and then make sure that the redshift auto mode is on so it is on right now I'll go ahead and get off uh, and then uh, just click it off now and it will close and then what we can do is go ahead and right click on it again and we will just leave it on redshift mode and see what happens so it automatically gets the uh, location information and in my case is San Diego so that's uh, that now that's working properly 
Now, if you have this, uh, followed these instructions correctly, what you should have now uh, on a reboot is a little icon that starts uh, automatically and everything uh, should be func functioning. So this is a short run today and I hope this is helpful for you.